Hey guys, today we'll be checking out the following apps on Windows Phone. First up is Magic Frame Free. So this app allows you to put various frames onto your pictures. So you can take one using the camera or the one on the device. So you double tap here to start. And you can take one with the camera or pick one from the gallery. So let's go with one from the gallery. And you can minimize it or rotate it as you see fit. And once you have it, you can rotate the frame itself. And if you want to change the frame, you can do that as well. If you want to pick up a different category of frames, you have a few options in that. So the classic, cool, golden, etc. And so say you want something from the golden one. So as you can see, you've got many options in there. And there are a few settings where you can disable the sound effects. And it'll show you what are the gestures available. And there is an about page with some information about the developers. And once you say once you're done with anything there, so you can click on done. And you're given the option to save it to your gallery, upload it to Facebook, or send it via an email. Now we'll jump on to radar. This app allows you to mark various location on your device. So most of the time I've got the GPS accuracy as low, it might be because I'm indoors. And what it allows you to do basically is it allows you to mark various location. So in the demo version there is a limitation of 15 minutes. And once the GPS accuracy is achieved you can mark a location and on the radar it will show you that location in which direction it is plus what's the distance towards it. Unfortunately at this moment I cannot get the GPS fix on my location so I'll not be able to show how it works properly. Next we're gonna have a look at Shop Savvy. So with Bing Vision it is like we are able to search for various barcodes but unfortunately that is US only at this stage. But using an app, third-party app called Shop Savvy, you should be able to scan barcodes, QR codes, or search for products as well. So let's try searching for a barcode. So you can use this live, so you don't need to press the camera button or anything like that. And so what I just scanned was Batman Arkham City and that has come up. So it'll show me the price on Amazon. And locally if it's available it'll pull up some information about that as well. And it shows you some reviews as well. So some of the settings in the app is once you find something you can pin that item to this home screen. So if I want to pin this I just go in and hit the pin button and you'll see that there is a live tile for it now and that will flip across and tell you the price as well. So if you want to pin something onto your start screen before you go shopping this is something that you can do. Unfortunately it does not always work with the local market. And you can check for the history as well, so I'll show you what items you have scanned. And you can also pick up deals from nearby locations, so Target is an Australian store. Best Buy, it's a US store for some reason, it shows Best Buy in there as well. And so you go in, you have a map option, and that will bring up the map with locations of the store. And you can pick up the direction to the closest store as well. 
And so that is a quick look at shop savvy for Windows Phone. Next up, we're going to have a look at Toggle. This is again another app which allows you to pin various shortcuts to your home screen. So you've got your data, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and you can set reminders as well. So with a reminder, what you can do is you can put a reminder like turning off your Wi Fi every day at 10 a.m. So what happens is every day at 10 a.m. So every day at 11 a.m. it'll tell you that you should switch off your Wi-Fi and when the notification comes up clicking on that will take you directly to the Wi-Fi settings page. And if you want to pin any of these you just click on the tick mark there and that'll come up with a live tile. And you can enable status on the main app tile so your main app tile will flip and tell you some details so in this case it'll tell you your Wi-Fi is on and you can enable background tiles you can enable background task to update the app tile with notification status as well so in this case when you go back once the app is updated so in this case once Wi-Fi tile gets updated it should tell you that the Wi-Fi is in use and it's the same details that you find there as well so those are the four apps that we have for you today. Thanks for watching.